Hello, I'm Vizet, and today I show you something really, really, really awesome. Um, you might remember on the older versions, such as 3.18, and on other versions, higher versions, you were able to use custom bubbles. For example, this game, Kaon, it says it's 27 MB in size, which is obviously not correct. The game is actually around 1.6 GB. But we all know this is a custom bubble, and thanks to Mr. Tom's and Mr. Gas's custom bubble trick, Major Tom I mean, you can easily use any PSP game you want as a custom bubble on the PS Vita, such as this Japanese game on my, well, PlayStation Vita, which usually happens to have European games. You also can see I have a PSP Filer bubble, a PSP XMB bubble, so pretty much TNX, uh, TNV I mean, and a VHBL bubble, so yeah. As I showed you with this application, my device is running version 3.18, but we all knew version 3.18 can already do this, so why am I showing you this? Pretty simple. If I now go to my second beta, which is this one then we can see first i'm going to show you the version uh let's see there we go 3.36 and you will notice that on 3.36 i can do the very same i have once again this kaon game which once again happens to be 27 mb in size but this time the custom bubble has a custom made boot screen or splash screen. So I can have it show me a picture instead of this old mini warning health screen thingy. And nonetheless the game is booting. Another thing which I also can easily boot is this PSP filer bubble. If I start the PSP filer bubble it will automatically start PSP filer. And I can easily use PSP Filer without any kind of restrictions. And about the Kaon game, as you can see, it's around 1.6 gigabytes. So yeah, this also of course works for the PSP XMB. So you have a TNB bubble as an instant launcher, and you don't need an exploit game per se. You need a base game, but it doesn't have to contain an exploit. So as you can see, this also has custom bubbles, but this is once again version 3.36. So why I'm showing you version 3.36, everyone knows 3.36 already has custom bubbles. Well, let's go to the third PS Vita. Most of you know this device of mine, which is my fat PlayStation Vita. And most of you will know that this is... 99% of the time running the most recent version, which currently happens to be 3.52. So the next thing I'm going to show you is, you already guessed it, custom bubbles for the version 3.52. Sony fixed the old custom bubbles as of version 3.50 or 3.50, but that's not a problem, because Quick Razor has his very own bubble trick. This is a different trick if you compare it to the trick from Mr. Gas or from Major Tom, but nonetheless this trick is fully working. As you can see I can run the VHBL as a bubble, I can run PSP Filer as a bubble, so thus far I can already run Homebrews as a bubble, which is very nice. But I can also run games as a bubble. Once again I'm showing you this Kaon game, and this should be once again around... No, no, this is 15 MB. So this bubble trick is even slimmer than the old one. And as you can see, the game is fully working. Even though this game does not exist on the PlayStation Store, not the European, American or Japanese, even though this is a Japanese game, so this game cannot be played on the PlayStation Vita because it doesn't exist on the PlayStation Store. Well, apparently I can play it. So... What does... What's the difference between these bubbles and the old bubbles? The old bubbles used a neat trick, which happened to be that you rename a folder, 
create the very same folder but, but with an ampersand at the end so this little and sign and then you had to prepare your game so the PS Vita thinks it's a legit game and you can start it. This trick is even simpler. We're going to explain this trick when it's going to be released. So far I'm just showcasing this trick and if, if you thought about it you can also run the ARC2 eCustom Farmer as a custom bubble. Keep in mind that, like I said, base game. So you have a random game, preferable a game that was not exploited on the PlayStation Vita yet. For example, I don't know. Let's see, what I'm using. I'm using the Wipeout Pulse demo. Um, I think around two years ago there was a glitch in the PlayStation Store and you could download PSP demos to your PS Vita. So these downloaded PSP demos could then be used on the PlayStation Vita. I think one of the demos you can still download to your PS Vita should be Ape Quest. That should work in Europe, Australia and North America. So this Ape Quest demo version is also a PSP game and you can use it as a base game. So you pretty much need a random base game which has not been exploited on the PlayStation Vita yet. So pretty much all these games cannot be used. And pretty much all these games also cannot be used. I'm not sure which of these exploit games have special patches on version 3.50, so the games are pretty much dog shit. But I'm sure World of Pool has these special patches, and Patapon 2 also had these special patches. And usually it's recommended to not use a minis game, such as these with the purple border, but a full game. So I'm not sure if things like Uno work, because they are really old. And I doubt Sony is going to apply special patches to a really, really, really old exploit game. They're only doing it to recent games such as minis and games for the 3.18 version. So, whatever. Last nice thing I want to show you about these custom bubbles is, um, despite them not having a splash screen anymore, so this custom made uh, logo which would appear right now instead of this black screen, this doesn't work with Quick Versus Bubbles, but that's not a problem. It was just a visual function anyway, so it's not really a big loss. But the cool thing I want to show you is, you can see, I started this game as a custom bubble. I had Tsunamiko Diva Extend. So this started as a custom bubble. And for whatever reason it's now glitching. Perfect. Let's restart it. There we go, it's restarting. Hopefully to, um, now it's not glitching. I'm not sure why it glitched last time. But, okay. As you can see, this is actually a Japanese game. And you, you can see Code Station Night Sail Project Diva Extend patch. So the nice thing about this is... You can actually use plugins with this... Uh, with these custom bubbles. Come on, load the main menu. <clears throat> because usually this game is Japanese and it didn't, well, it had no proper English translation. I'm pretty sure the PSP Diva games were never uh, released in the North American or European store, the, these two and Project Diva first, but the PS Vita games were released in the English language. But yeah, so far you can use plugins with the custom bubbles, which is very nice. The custom bubbles work with homebrews, e-custom e farmer loaders, or launchers, more homebrews, and full games. Um, so far they do not work with PS1 games, so if you want to start a PS1 game you have to start ARC first. But keep in mind that ARC 2 has no sound for PS1 games, which is kind of a shame. But nonetheless, this is really cool. This works on version 3.52 and as you can see version 3.52. If you're asking yourself about the release about this, the ARC2 um, e-custom farmer and the kernel exploit were for version 3.52 are currently planned to be released with the next 
PlayStation Vita firmware. So if Sony releases at 353, 355 or 360 or whatever the next PS Vita version is, which is really most likely bundled with the PlayStation 4 version 3.00, then be sure that this is in 90% of the case still working on the next PS Vita version because this has not been patched in a long time. We have this since over a year, these special secondary custom bubbles of Crick Razor, and Sony didn't patch it yet, so I'm pretty sure they're not patching it in the next version. So pretty much, these are custom bubbles for the version 352 and below. We are planning to release this with the next PS Vita version, whatever it's going to be, and we're very confident this, that the next PS Vita version is not patching this stuff. So yeah, that was my video about these 352 custom bubbles. Feel excited, these are going to be released soon. It depends when Sony releases their next PlayStation Vita software, unless we change our mind and we just release it for 352. But so far we think we want to release it with the next version. I'm the dad and see you soon.